Hey everybody, uh, welcome to yet a, another video. This one is going to be a little bit different and there's a lot of reasons why, but it primarily boils down to the fact that my time management right now is not that great and trying to figure out how I do everything I need to do throughout the week along with things that pop up at different times and making sure that I'm able to still get everything that I want to get done done and being consistent and showing up regularly and continuously striving for that community that I want when it comes to YouTube and art videos there's a lot so this past week was a perfect example of how we had a busy weekend followed by another busy weekend and another busy weekend coming up and I have work all throughout the week and there's different things that I need to do and different things that I like to do in the evenings and so it tends to create a system where if I don't prioritize my art, I don't even do it once throughout the week, let alone, you know, striving to have little moments every single day. And so this past week, I found myself going, oh, I need to make a video. <laughs> I don't have anything. I have stuff lined up, but they'd be very time consuming. They take research or they take going to special destinations. And I didn't have that in my schedule this week. And so what I did have is going, what better time than to discuss time management than to also work on adding to my calendar collection. So what this is, what it sounds like, uh, at the end of last year, I was finding myself feeling very much scattered and all over the place just in life emotionally spiritually physically all of the above and so I took some time to put together a calendar of the months because at my husband's in old house our old house we had a whiteboard that was the month and we could every month you know refresh it and we could put what was going on and it made it where we were able to really plan with each other's schedules really well and since we moved here uh, those first six months or so we didn't have that and we were double booking each other it was very hard just communication wise because we were on two very different schedules and we still are in a lot of sense but just communication wise it was horrible and so I decided to sketch out little things for each of the month just to have like the month at an overlook um i've tried bullet journaling before and it's not something that i've ever been consistent with and stayed up with and so i thought this was kind of a nice little happy medium and so like january obviously um february and so i did all of the months from january to july Mainly, the main reason was I was thinking, okay, that gets me through the first half of the year. And honestly, these took up more time than I thought they would. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun kind of doing little things, so like April showers. What do they bring? May flowers. So sometimes times. Um, and choosing different colors and doing little designs but like I said I did it just through July and with it being close to the end of July we've got about a week and a half left I knew I needed to do the last five months so I decided to take some time the other day and I was on a video call with my friend and while she was scrapbooking I worked on this and I was able to kind of go through and what you'll see in the video in a second, and there's some kind of thought process. I won't lie, they're not my favorite. I rushed through them 
but it still was nice to have a little bit of a creative moment that had a pattern to it, allowed me to have a little bit of inspiration and creativity, but at the same time had a very real purpose and meaning to what I needed. And that being said, I kind of wanted to take a few minutes to brainstorm how I plan to plan the next couple of days. Um, because again, life gets hectic and life gets busy and I'm not managing my time properly currently. So we're going to kind of brainstorm that at this moment. And here is where I knocked over my lamp. <laughs> this is where I completely spiraled in this whole discussion. Um, I took a very very fast dive down into breaking the hour by hour of what I do during the week and was breaking down numbers and how many hours I would spend on, you know, work or working out or cooking food and the math side of my brain really dove into that and was breaking it down and creating a grid and all in all, I decided to save y'all from seven to eight minutes of that torture because you guys don't need that torture. All in all, I decided to go on to Google Docs and created a little grid of what I spend my time on throughout the day and kind of breaking it up because along with the work that I have to do during the weekdays, um, there are other things that I want to try and do a little bit better of a job prioritizing and so that kind of breaks down into you know making sure that I'm having a proper diet which then counters in how much time I cook or spend cooking food um, as well as just actually eating it and thankfully like my husband's very helpful in the sense that, like I can be like hey can you make this for me um or I you know I don't have time to make dinner tonight can you make it etc but there's also things like making sure I'm working out two to three times a week. I have not been consistent in that, so I'm trying to do better. As well as finding time to actually like study art as well as practice art. And beyond that, also having time to actually just relax with my husband. And spending valuable time together relaxing. So with that whole schedule, kind of put a few things together, broke it down throughout the time, and theoretically, if I were to stick with it, it'd actually be pretty good. But here you guys can kind of see I'm already working on that next process, which is actually planning out the months to months. So I've worked on kind of my weekly plans on how I want to structure my days, but then this kind of helps me break down the months. So I used my sketchbook and kind of brainstormed a couple ideas. And as I already foreshadowed, I really was kind of rushing through this. I was exhausted that day. I had work and then Zumba and then uh, ate a quick dinner. And then I was having a uh, FaceTime with my friend. And I was trying to get everything taken care of so that I could still go and at least spend an hour or two before bed uh, just spending time with my husband and watching TV series that we've been binging recently. Um, so I started by doing the grid process. I measured all of this out really particular when I did it last year and this time I just decided to use one of the older versions and kind of go off of it. I am not too picky about these looking perfect. They're more of just something fun that I like to do. So I kind of went through it. I chose little things for each of them. So August was sunflowers. So I really liked just a little hint of that. And then for September, I am just realizing now I spelled September. Guys, this is really just the day of my life. I'm going to have to fix that. Well, uh, it teaches you that mistakes happen. September was for apples and I really am not happy with how my apples turned out. October I could have done, you know, um, pumpkins. I decided to do some fun mushrooms which were a little bit different. And then for November, which spelled that one right, good, 
um, for November, what I decided to do was a turkey tail, and for December I did some lights with uh, a gnome. So kind of just did something really simple, and guys, it does not have to be crazy. If anything, this video just shows you that it doesn't have to be perfect. There are so many days where it's just a rough week, and I'm learning to give myself grace on that and try to plan for better weeks in the future, and hopefully all these planning tactics will help me do that. Uh, all that being said, please give me any tips and advice on what helps you plan properly for your days and your weeks and your months. 